a new widget has been released in June. Today, I'm going to show you the Razzle label. I open this analysis in Edit. My graphs are ready to be read and analyzed. But what if I had some point of reference to keep under control the most important data names? Keeping a data name under control. Here's the utility of the Razzle label. I drag and drop this widget here. And I insert the data name like the quantity. You may think the Razzle label is a simple label, but it makes more. It shows you the dynamic values of the data name you want to keep an eye on. In particular, you can see here that the function aggregating the values of the data name is the sum. But now, let's see the properties panel in detail. This widget accepts filters. By clicking this button, I can reset the data name and add another one. Here, I can change the formula that aggregates data and change the default format if I want to. The text section is interesting. It allows you to write static text together with dynamic values. Here, I write quantity and here, pieces. Now, I add another result label that has to contain the total revenues. Firstly, I write the text. Then, I drag and drop the data name total amount. Look, you can find the dynamic value here. In the end, I want to insert a value which is not dynamic. I add again the result label, but this time, in the section overall, I untick can accept filters. In this way, it won't change if I apply filters to data. In the end, I want you to notice the dimension of the text. It fixes automatically by default. But now I want to change it. For example, now I untick automatic and I set 30, aligning everything to the left. I repeat it for all the labels. I want to see only my data about 2014 and 2015, so I filter these years. Look, I can check the dynamic values to have an idea about the revenues and quantities in these years but I can also compare them with the static value of the product revenues. So you have discovered the Razzle label. But what are you waiting for? Now it's your turn. Remember that your feedback makes Hubby even more self-service. So if you have any comments or questions, please contact us.